أعوذ بالله السميع العليم من الشيطان اللعين الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم وصل اللهم على سيدنا محمد وعلى آله الطيبين الطاهرين Islam has given a lot of importance on doing business and earning a halal livelihood through doing business. Not only does it give a lot of importance, but if you open the book of Islamic laws under the chapter of At-Tijara, where the laws of doing business is mentioned, the first line states that it is a highly recommended act by itself, doing business is a highly recommended act by itself. Like any recommended act, sometimes it becomes wajib. For example, if you are the head of the family, it is wajib for you to take care of the necessities of your dependents. So this highly recommended act becomes wajib. And sometimes it may become makru. Sometimes it may become haram. Islam shows us how to do business. Islam teaches us the etiquette of doing business. Some of the etiquettes of doing business is, for example, when you are dealing with the customers, it is recommended that you deal with them equally. For example, you have a commodity which you want to sell. You set one price for all of your customers. You should not sell a different price for different customers, except if there is a lawful factor which allows you to set a different price. For example, the customer that has come is poor, or he is pious, or he is a scholar, or he is a relative of you, then it is allowed to set a separate price for them. Likewise, when you have performed a transaction, a person comes to you for a commodity, he describes the commodity to you. You give him the commodity according to what he has described. There are no defects in the commodity. He agrees and he leaves. He leaves. The transaction is completed. After a day or two or a few days, he is remorseful. He bought this item whilst he was not in need of it. So he comes to you and he asks you, are you going to take it back? According to the laws, you are not obliged to accept it back because there are no defects. It is according to what he, de he described. If there were defects or it uh, was not according to what he had described, then that's another issue. But if there were no defects and it was according to what he had described, then it is not obligatory upon you to accept it back. However, it is highly recommended to accept it back.